From Latrobe's homepage, click Latrobe Students and then Student Online. Student Online is the portal you will use to manage your enrolment during your time at Latrobe. If you haven't already done so, you'll need to accept your offer. Click the offer, then the degree program, and then you'll be able to accept. I've already accepted my offer, so let's go to enrolment. You'll need to then click study plan and then move through to your Bachelor of Arts. If this is your first time enrolling in the course, you might find you need to complete some personal details. We'll go over some of what's required. You need to first read and agree to the institutional terms and conditions, as well as the Charter of Student Rights and Responsibilities. I know it's tempting to skip over these, but it's worth reading through them as you'll be held to these conditions throughout your time at La Trobe. Domestic students will then need to complete your HEX help form. Read through the form carefully, making sure you fill in your tax file number and accept the relevant conditions. You may also want to complete the SA help form. This will mean you won't have to pay your student amenities fee up front. Next, confirm your citizenship and residency details. You'll also need to confirm your cultural details. Confirm if you have a disability, impairment or long-term medical condition. The university has a lot of support to offer our students, including adaptive technology and measures to allow greater flexibility around completing assignments for those students who need it. If you think this might apply to you, you can click here to let us know to get in touch. If you're keen to get started with the process, you can also contact Equity and Diversity directly. And then finally, you'll need to confirm your parent and guardian educational status. This is something the government asks all universities to capture and is used for statistical purposes. Now you're ready to enrol. But before you add your subjects, it's important to get your majors, minors and electives set up. By now, you've hopefully had a chance to plot out your study plan in one of the course grids provided. Just a reminder, the majors you select will be the areas of focus or specialisation in your degree. A minor is a smaller area of focus and electives are other subjects taken as part of your degree to give you a variety and breadth of knowledge across different study areas, or to allow you to focus deeper in the areas you're passionate about. One thing to take note of when looking at your subjects is the year level. You can always tell by the number in the middle of the subject code. At this stage in my degree, I just want to focus on my first year subjects, so subjects with a one in the middle. Now, on this course grid, I'm really into the ancient world, like really into it. So it's a great thing I'm at La Trobe. I can basically pack out my three-year degree with studies in history, classic literature, and archaeology. I'm choosing majors in ancient societies and human origins, and classics and ancient history. Then I'll pack out the rest of my degree with history electives. I've even got room for an international study tour in second year. Bear in mind, your study plan need not be final, but it's a good idea to plan out where you hope to go with your BA, and this will help you stay on track later on. Remember always to get advice from a course coordinator or advisor if you're planning on changing majors later on. And don't forget, if you make a mistake, you can always go back and change things later. You can change your enrolment up to the second week of each main semester. So let's go ahead and add my first Huss major. All the Huss majors are spread out over two pages. We'll find Ancient Societies, add to the Study Planner, and then Save Changes. That's saved to my plan, so now I'll go and add my second major in Classics. We'll find Classics in Ancient History. Add to Planner. And Save. Now I'll need to add an electives block of 120 credit points and save that to Plan. 
There it is. And save. So now the study plan structure set up, I'll need to first decide on my core choice for ancient societies. And then my core choice for classics. And then add each first year elective subject to my plan. For each subject, I need to choose an available slot at the appropriate year level. If you already know what you want, you can search for the desired subject. Add to Study Planner, and then Save to Plan, just the same as with a major. Bear in mind if you haven't decided on all your subjects, you can search and view details through this system, but most people find the online handbook a bit more user-friendly. There, now my study plan is all set up. All I need to do is go and enrol in my subjects for the 2020 year. I'll first click on ABSOWOM and then LTUOAIM. These are mandatory but unweighted subjects, meaning they're ungraded, just pass or fail, and they won't cost me anything. They're also not designed to take very long, so I'll look at finishing those really soon and before the semester begins. Then I wanna click on my core and core choice subjects for ancient societies, then the electives I've added to my planner, and my core and core choice for classics. By the way, you might see some second or third year subjects highlighted blue, but don't enrol in them just yet, no matter how good they look. You want to make sure you're completing your first year subjects first. They're all designed to introduce you to the content and skills you'll need in later years, and sometimes there'll be prerequisites or required knowledge for your later subjects. You'll get to those other subjects later. When you've ticked all the right boxes, you can hit enrol you'll get one last chance to check your enrolment list before submitting. Looks good. Let's do it. And you're done. The first hurdle of your uni career is sorted. Don't forget, you can normally change your enrolment right up to the second week of class, but don't leave it too late. You don't want to miss any classes if you can avoid it. And remember, there is always somewhere you can get help if you need it. You can call Ask Latrobe to get started, and if needed, they can help you get in touch with your course coordinator or advisor.